in AFL News. Geelong has welcomed new coach Chris Scott, but has handed him a daunting task. They expect him to make the Cats a premiership contender again next year, while at the same time rebuilding the club's list. And as Peter Lennigan reports, Scott says he's up to the task. The tough-as-nails defender is taking on perhaps the AFL's hardest job. To coach the Geelong Football Club, in my opinion, is the highest honour in the game for a coach. After the most turbulent month at the Cats in more than a decade, the rookie is facing a vast challenge. A coach with two premierships to his name has departed, a star has headed for warmer climbs and a style of play has been dismantled. Still, the atmosphere at Cadinia Park is bullish. We've had a great ten years, uh, particularly the last five, and we still believe that we're a, a premiership threat in 2011, but the appointment of Chris is not simply about 2011, it's also about 2015. There's a lot of water to go under the bridge before we get ourselves in that position, but all Geelong people should expect success. Scott's reception has been warm from the top down. I remember playing against him when he played for Brisbane when I was a young guy and even then he just, um, apart from scaring the hell out of me, he, uh, he just had uh, real leadership. Sometimes it's lovely to have that new blood come in and uh, someone from the outside. Yeah, very happy. And I think they really need to uh, change the game plan a bit and probably bring in a new voice and it's going to sort of make some of the older players probably give them a bit of a fresh start. And the 34-year-old's pedigree is sound. With premiership success twice as a Brisbane Lion, a coaching apprenticeship at Fremantle and a twin brother already leading an AFL club. Yeah, there's no doubt that um, you guys will find the fact that twins are coaching more interesting than we do. <laughs> Novelty aside, watching Chris Scott tackle his task will be interesting enough. Peter Lennigan, ABC News, Geelong.